So here I'm going to download it. Hello. Who's joined us? Time zone appropriate greeting from Auckland, New Zealand. Hello, it's Higart here. Higart, how you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. We, um, let me, um, yeah, okay, so I'm recording, and I was just playing around, so, um, just about to start playing around, so thanks, it's nice to, uh, it's nice to hear your voice. It's, so, are you unable to, you're dialing in, right, by phone? Yes, I am dialing in, unfortunately, it seems that the Zoom software is not working on my machine so you get the video so you do google hangouts mm. um i haven't really tried google hangouts yet okay huh so i should find some other streaming platform okay Okay, you don't have to change anything just for me. If it's oh. if it's working for everybody else, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm I'm stuck with this platform for the um, for the for the semester for sure for this sixteen week stint. But I'll look into other. Yeah, I have I have no problems with this. I can um, I can watch the videos later on YouTube. No problem. So you know, let me though bring up um, in a new tab here. And talk with you a little bit about um, that email that you sent that you sent me. Um, uh -huh. and, and so what what you thought was to, tell me if, if you and you can look at your screen and tell me which tiddlers to go to if you if you want. Um, okay, which which email is this, Steve? I've seen. Yeah, the critique starting at the tiddler that I wrote, Hagar Green Eggs critique. Where I where I kind of did the template thing. Oh, uh, are we talking about the feedback on green eggs and ham? Yeah, exactly. Okay, critique. Yes, yes. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. so yeah, this, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. The view template. I've um, I've seen it mentioned before, but I've never actually seen it in use. And so it was it was interesting to see how it works. So tell me how you think it works. Just tell me which tiddlers to visit and like how you go about modifying it. Okay. Oh, I had that up and now I don't. One moment. I'm going to have to go back and search for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. You should now, if you use either, yeah. Um, did you see what I did with your, um, what did I do that? Oh, yeah. That's how I did it with the. We did, we did a template just on lines, right? Yep. Actually, I saved your critique to my downloads, so I've got a copy of that locally. I'll just open that well, locally. That's probably easier. Yeah, do me a favor, if you could. Mm -hmm. Could you open the one from the news group? Because that's the one that's shared with everybody. <laughs> okay. So that's the publicly available one. And then... As you're navigating through, you just tell me what to click on, and then we can talk about, and we'll be both sure. seeing on our screens, and everybody else will be able to see it too. It's, it's um, Oops. now I'm going to the wrong place. Yeah, that's all right. Take your time. Um, I'll prattle on, but Tiddly Wiki is kind of a challenge to use um, collaboratively, so this is one way to do it. Yes, yeah. but um. Okay, and now of course Google Groups is going to be a pain and not show the page I'm after. 
<laughs> refresh. <laughs> see now, see that that's interesting. So here's the um, that I'm um, yeah. So okay, Silvana, hello. Ah, here it is. Silvana. So Silvana, I see that you've just joined in, and you're you're certainly welcome. Um, the IDP Hangouts starts in this space at around eight. And what we're doing now is um, called the, the Design Write Workshop for one of the classes called Designing and Writing Interactive Texts. And you're more than welcome to follow along if you'd like. But we're going to continue on. So um, up to you. Okay. okay, Steve. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I found it. I've got it. Yep. Now, yep. you created a tiddler called Green Eggs Vocab Template. Yeah, exactly. So, how'd you get there? And you tagged it with dollar colon forward slash tags forward slash view template. Right. So, how do I get there from the, you know, from when the tiddler, when the thing loads? Let me go to the. Um, you didn't put a link. You did. Uh, you did mention Green Eggs vocab template on the critique tiddler. Okay. But you didn't make it a link, so I would just go into the search bar and type in Green Eggs vocab template. Oh, okay. I'll, actually, you know what you do um, for, uh -huh. my, for my tiddler. Yep. Where it says check out the nifty template. Know how it yep. works. For example, on do. So click on do. Yep. And what I did there was a sort of a little debugging code. Notice mm -hmm. the green eggs vocab template right there. Yep. Yep, so, I see that. You can click on that to take it to the template. Yeah. And then you get to that tiddler and it's like there's nothing here. So you have to yeah, add, but, see the code. Yeah, I see the code there and I yeah. see the tag, which is obviously the thing that does the magic. So, it, yeah, so it's not, it's, it's sort of magic, but it, what it does is it's every time a, um, Every time the view template is called in TiddlyWiki, which is every time you go into the view of a tiddler. This is called the yep. viewing a tiddler here. Actually, we're in mm -hmm. here instead of view. But whenever it's called, it checks to see what templates it should use. And here, right. the list filter says, hey, if I'm tagged with green eggs and ham dash vocabulary, yep. stuff below. If not, move on and do something else. <laughs> right? Yes, yes. Yeah, and so the I'm with you. I like it. Yeah, so very if, cool. And if so, it's a filter. So if it makes this filter, basically you're making a list of tiddlers. So if mm -hmm. you make a list of tiddlers, and if it's in your list in your filter, then you do the stuff. And the first thing I do when I'm starting out is I put a horizontal return. That's that HR. Yep. Template, and then the colon, and then the name of my template. Mm -hmm. but I never find it again. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. So we know where the content is coming from when it suddenly appears on a tiddler with no other content. Well, that's interesting vocabulary that you use. So you know where the, <laughs> it's, it's, where the content is coming from is actually the tiddler, but you know where the framework or the template for the content is coming from. Yes. Which is the whole there, and that's like that's the whole ballgame. That's the hypertext sort of idea. So what we do here. And this is your text, so you figure this out, and you just copy and paste it into a bunch of tiddlers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, so you figured this out. I'm highlighting the um, the way that you transclude in double squiggly brackets. I'm sorry. The way that you transclude in double squiggly braces. Yes. With two exclamation points. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's pretty dense code, sort of, but that's as dense as it gets in this class, I think. What it means is transclude the current value of title from wherever you have it. Mm -hmm. yes. So like the current tiddler, get, the, get my title, and then make a list of all the links that are tagged to me. Now this is yes. what to have in every single tiddler at some level. So if you'd like, you can just take off line one, and every mm -hmm. entire Chidley Wiki will give you a list of its tags. Um, right. And I'm going to write about that very soon. You can search on it, and I'll do a quick search, or, but I'll add it to the thing. It's called Tagly Tagging, and it was a 
critical part of Tiddlywinky Classic, in my view. And for right. it, it was the first thing that really um, convinced me that Tiddlywinky was something special in some ways, was the tag they had. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I still miss it. I have actually imported your tagly into my macros and I was starting to make use of it in the notes and quotes exercise, but now I can see an even better way of doing it using the view template that you've demonstrated here. Yes. So rather than putting tagly on every single tiddler, if I put it into a view template, then I don't need to worry about it. It will just appear. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. And, um, and then you can, then this is how you begin to build different views. And mm-hmm. You can build, you can set different background colors, and so now you start to get into slide presentations very quickly through templates. Oh, that's cool. So in my green eggs and ham, you'll notice the G-E-A-H-Poem has a tag for a color. I call it BG something, which is background, and um, it changes the background color because I'm doing a CSS based on a tag. So you see this? Tell me again how to get there. Um, it's one of the, the search G-E-A-H bar. If you get, if you just go to G E A H dash poem. See now that's funny. I missed that in my list of G E A H tags. I missed poem. So let, right. That's okay. Well, and I'm in a um, editable version, so I can change it and add to it. Um, right. But I've got a link to it right here. Um, yep. And you see the first oh. tag I've got there is BG and then capital C-E-F-68. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. yeah, I have used that with a CSS and a style sheet, and that's what provides the green background on that particular tiddler. Mm-hmm. So what you're saying is I could yes. actually do away with that and use view template to provide the same green background. Um, let me see what the code of this does. Yeah, I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's CSS there. That's in a template. Um, okay. So once again, if I had have put the information in that tiddler like you did with your template, it would have made more sense. I don't know. <laughs> I think what you're doing, if you can just put a background color in there and a tiddler and just interprets that, that's very interesting to me too. I've struggled how to um, to make um, background colors, but those are interesting for slides. I want to ask you about something else, if you yeah, sure. mind. Um, look at the look at the third bullet point that I wrote there in my critique. Look at the I do not like the Sam I am line. Okay, I'll just. Close some of these other ones so I can yeah. see where you're at. Um, exit that away. Okay, third bullet point. Look at the I do not like that Sam I am. Yep. Right. And um, if you edit that tiddler. Oh, yeah, with the words presented as. as uh, yes. And um, I'm going to just add a horizontal, ret- couple of horizontal returns in it for a little while here. So it will be easier to separate the difference between the tags and the tiddler. Mm -hmm. But this isn't what this does for me. And um, and I was curious to see what you think about that. We're getting a little bit of background noise from somebody there. Um, So that um, is that you can click on any one of these words and Mm -hmm. stop clicking on the word like and then the word that. And then yep. Sam, and this, if this was fully, if you have every word tagged, and I think you do, right? Yes. So this is the full set. <laughs> uh, if every tiddler looked like this, and now you can see how it would be relatively trivial in a sense, almost. Mm-hmm. Not trivial, but, you know, to design and build this would be interesting, right? It's so, yes. yeah, so that's, so I think that that's, that's very interesting use of tags as now mm. objects yes so if the whole poem the entire thing every every word is presented as a tag i wonder what that would look like <laughs> yeah that could be interesting and 
and it just takes you, you know, you click on the next line and every line is it just every, that's it. He is comprised of tags rather than of linked words. Yes. The, the, well, the, the, well, that's okay. And so that's, that's an interesting um, point that I want to talk as well about, bring up in the workshop. I don't know if you, if you got a chance to see that um, conversation that Jeremy had about links. And he's getting, he's getting me close to being convinced that filtering and sorting are, are not quite distinctive behaviors, but that the, a link is a list plus a sort. Mm -hmm. So if that's what a link is, so a list is by definition a filter. Right. And it's and the list Which has, you defined as a choice, didn't you? Yeah, it's a, exactly choosing. But it's always whenever you make a link, you always make a choice about what objects are going to be um, referenced in that. Mm -hmm. link. And it could be one. We're used to sort of the single node link, single node link. It takes you to one place, but here you get to go to all these places. Yes. Okay. So, but it's still a link. Mm hmm And then, and, but what places can you go to within the text or the world or the universe? And here you can go to any line that has the word not or the word mm -hmm. not itself. Right. So this is like what, uh, Tim Berners-Lee was describing in the reference you recently posted about multi-ended links. Yes, and I came across that today, working on these yeah. things. It's like, uh, he was, he, I think that he doesn't like this, or didn't like this. Right. <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way I read it. Yeah, yeah, he was like horrified by this. And I was reading and said, oh, <laughs> I'm thrilled by this. This is, this is, I've never quite seen this one, you know, you have to spin out the exercise a few times before people take you on the challenge and actually go ahead and build it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think, and, and we still, but I, if you're interested, I think that that would be a beautiful piece of art in a sense, you know, mm -hmm. where, where every word in the poem is a tag and every tag takes you to all the places that, you know what I mean? Yes, indeed, that could be interesting. I might, I might look at doing that later, yeah. Yeah, um, so let me, so yeah, that's very, that's quite, uh, that was fun. Um, I wanted to show you something else and uh, uh, um, let, me, let me stop this record for a minute here.